Uh, hello and welcome. I'm Lars from Colorlock um, Leader Centrum. And um, as you see, we had a small shite from my neighbor who draw on a microfiber um, share. And um, we were thinking that is a good situation to show you how to remove ink from Alcantara or microfiber. In the first step, I will show you which kind of uh, equipment do you need. So we need for sure our textile cleaner, um, our brush, a cloth, what is also available by us. We have a microfiber, you can use also a sponge for later to take out the cleaner. And um, yeah, some water, 90, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, what is around about 30-35 degrees Celsius and what I bought in a pharmacy is uh, acetone. Um, I bought it in a pharmacy, you can go also to a hardware market, but um, when you go to a pharmacy you get a really 100% poor material with nothing inside, just acetone, what um, will give you the best result. Okay, in the next step I will show you how to remove the ink. Okay, so the first step is um, clean everything with a vacuum cleaner with low um, energy or sucking um, that you get off all the losing parts, what is maybe on the surface and then take the acetone and this um, gloss, what you get also from us and put it on the gloss, never directly on the material and go over the ink to remove. So as you see, I remove all the ink with the acetone and um, also you see that I use a lot of material and um, don't be too careful, don't be scary. Um, when it's a real microfiber or a real Alcantara, it's no problem, the material can handle this. Um, when you have a other kind of material where the down textile and the um, surface textile is glued, then you have to be a little bit careful. But um, yeah, as I saw, say, um, microfiber and Alcantara do a no problem. Um, one tip for you is uh, care for good air, that you have always fresh air, open the door or go outside with the, with the furniture or when you do it inside of a car, don't close the door, keep it open because acetone has a dust what you can smell and um, it's not healthy, so um, care for good air. And um, the next step is now cleaning from stitches to stitches. So as you see, I spray the whole area from stitches to stitches. I had also some ink here what I removed, so I had a spot there. So I do also the cleaning from this stitches to this stitches. And then I massage inside with a brush. You can use also a sponge if you have a material where the brush is maybe too rough, then use a sponge. And um, after this, um, we will wait now five minutes and then we remove the cleaner and the loose dirt with warm water. So, five minutes are over and um, now comes the hardest part is um, washing out all the textile cleaner that we have a even clean um, and nice area without any spots or stains. And um, I use now a microfiber cloth from Bragg Company and uh, warm water and um, clean everything. When you have a wet vacuum cleaner, then you can spray clear water on it and suck it out with the wet, wet, cleaner, uh, um, wet vacuum cleaner. Or if you have a wet dry cleaner, um, vacuum cleaner, what is even better and easier, then of course you can clean it out with clear water with this. But a lot of people don't have this machines, so I will show you that it works also with a nice microfiber cloth and warm water.
So clean everything with warm water and my glove. You see that um, not just ink was on the surface, was also um, already a little bit dirt and dust in this, in this textile, what we remove at the same time. So now it is wet, let it dry slowly, don't heat it up, don't put it in the sun. Um, a normal room temperature is perfect for this. It needs now, I think over the night, we have now noon. So tomorrow morning it will be dry and then you can use it again. And uh, so long, please wait. And um, if you have then any stain or spots after it's dry, you can clean it again with a textile cleaner and yeah, repeat. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave a comment when you have any question down and I will answer you quickly and everything. And um, yeah, see you by the next video.